This time, fifth graders, I remember the question for lesson 5-3, video B. Um, how is subtracting fractions similar to adding fractions? And then how is it different? Because it is, I mean, there's not much difference, but there's a very essential difference between the two. For this one, boys and girls, don't worry about writing this. This is just me kind of showing you what to do. So I've got a story problem here that I'm going to write. And then, um, so give me a second, I will type it up, and then we will talk about it. All right, our question is, or our problem is, we had, and I'm going to add five-eighths of a pizza here. Now, boys and girls, the reason why I'm writing this is, is because I really don't have a way to um, type it in correctly. So we had five-eighths of a pizza, then we ate three-eighths of it. How much pizza is left? Now, the first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to draw, I'm going to draw a number line. Okay, or I'm going to draw a box. And I'm going to separate it into first half, and then half, and then, okay, so that's, we have, now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to, we have 1 eighth, oops, I need a, I need a writing instrument here, 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth so that's one two three four five so we have five eighths and I'm just going to signify that by highlighting these now we have five eighths of a pizza and we can write that as five eighths Oops. then we ate three eighths of it so we're going to take it we're going to eat Three eighths. So we, this is one eighth of the pizza gone. Two eighths of the pizza gone. Three eighths of the pizza gone. So we're going to subtract three eighths. So the question is, how much of the pizza do we have left? Well, we have one eighth here, and I could probably just take this right here and get rid of this as well. So we have one eighth, two eighths. So what's left would be two. Oh, for some reason my stylus is not working very well this evening. So what we have left would be two eighths. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the one thing that I kind of pointed out before is, do you see how I wrote my fraction like this? We want to get used to writing fractions with the horizontal line, so one-fourth, rather than writing fractions with the diagonal line, one-fourth. This is something we want to stop doing. Okay, we want to do our best to make sure they are written with a, with a horizontal line. All right, I've got one more problem that we will talk about. And again, this is something that you don't necessarily have to write down, just as long as you're following along and everything makes sense. All right, this problem is, fifth graders, if six... Oops, I need the pen here. If six-sevenths of the class was in school and... Two sevenths of the class went to the library. What fraction of the class is less? Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, don't worry about writing the story problem down. More than anything, I want you to write down, if you're copying anything, the math aspect of it, the drawings and, and the mathematical work that I'm doing. So, if six sevenths of the class was in school and two sevenths of the class went to the library, what fraction of the class is left? Now, we can look at this as six, whoops, sorry about that. 6 seventh less 2 sevenths, okay, which would give us something, or we can also look at it as 1 seventh plus 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 1 seventh. So that's how many sevenths? 1, 2, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six sevenths, and we're going to take away two sevenths. So let's just take our, and we go one, two. How many sevenths are left? Well, one, two, one, two, three, four. That's four sevenths. Four, and we keep, we keep our language the same. And here, six minus two is four. And again, we're going to keep our denominator the same because we're still talking about the, the number that we split the group into, and it's going to be four sevenths. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are two problems.
two problems, and one I solved with the fraction with the fraction bar essentially, and I did it in, in terms of normal. Here I did normal, and then I took unit fractions. I broke I broke this this non-unit fraction into unit fractions, and then I crossed out two of the two of the units, and I was left with four. So two different ways. Well, technically three. One, two. Three, three different ways to look at sub subtracting fractions. We're going to do a little bit more with um, video C.